Fortnite squad. What's going on guys? Uh, today's video we're actually doing the live commentary. Like you see me right now on the screen, right? So I'm going to be doing the live commentary right now. And what I'm going to be commentating today, I'm going to be commentating on three ways to get into someone's 90 and three ways to get out of your own 90. Now these are going to be more of advanced tips that really are not that easy to do and it will take some practice to get used to so let's get straight to the video so i'm just going to do everything live for you guys so first we're going to be talking about the three ways to get out of a turtle so the first way you're going to want to get out of a turtle is hold on, let me just grab the shotgun real quick and show you guys what i'm talking about okay so you're in your turtle right and you guys have all been in a situation where someone's out there they're trying to break your walls right and you keep on replacing your walls, you're trying to break, you keep on replacing, right? Now, there's going to be a point where they start spraying your wall, right? They start spraying it, spraying it, and you're going to keep replacing, right? Now, what you want to do is, the second they break their wall, they're going to break it, right? The second they break it, you're going to go block and then replace the wall really quickly. So, they're going to break it, you want to shoot, and replace. Now, this is like still catching a lot of people off guard. Because no one expects to be breaking it in the time that you're going to place the wall, get shocked into the face. It's it's really not that hard to do. I'm doing it a lot, it especially up to solo squads when you're in a turtle. And really, so just make sure that when you're inside a turtle, right, someone breaks your wall. If you're not like on six health, because if you're on like very low health, you do not want to do this because there's a potential you can take a bit of damage. But if someone breaks your wall and you're on a comfortable amount of health, go for the shotgun shot and then replace your wall. So they break it, go for the shot, replace the wall. They break it, shot, and replace, okay? Now, going on to the second tip right now, let's go straight from here. So, the second way to get out of 1x1 one one is uh, called, it's basically side jumping from inside of 1x1. One one. Now, this is a very advanced technique. A lot of people really do not know about this, but it is just very advanced. So, what you're going to be doing is someone's spraying at your wall, right? You can keep on replacing the wall. Someone's spraying at it. You keep on replacing, right? Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a ramp, right? You've all been in this situation. Someone's... Someone's out there. Whoa, that was a live play. Someone's out there shooting at your front wall. You place the ramp to get the extra cover. You're in this situation right now. You don't really know what to do, right? Because as you guys can see, you have only you have two lines of covers between you, but this is not the best situation you want to be in, right? So what you're gonna do really simply is do that edit, and then really easily just good jump, side jump like that, and you go for an edit. You can do whatever you want on them. Now this is, as I said, a very advanced technique. I'll show it once again. You're gonna be inside your one by one. Somebody's spraying at your wall, spraying at your wall. You're gonna we'll go place the ramp. Then you're gonna edit this wall, go out, side jump, and do your thing. Now, it's gonna catch a lot of players off guard. It's very good shot. We get to the next one because I just want to make this video very quick. I don't want to waste your time. This is gonna be the double ninety out, but it's not normal double ninety. So normally, when you're inside a one by one, you're gonna double ninety. Maybe hit two nineties like this, and boom, you got high gun, right? If you're a good player, they're probably just going to start shooting your builds out, and it's going to be useless, right? Or they're going to be following you, they're going to know how to keep high ground, right? So, this way that you're going to want to do it is very advanced, but it works very well. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come out of your one by one, have the double 90 set up, and then you're going to want to turn, you're going to want to connect this wall, connect that wall. Once you jump, there's going to be a wall that you can shit, that you can connect <laughs> right over there, right? So you're gonna want to connect this wall, and then you can. Oh, I screwed myself up there. And you can go off for high ground just like that. Now this is very unexpected. A lot of people really don't know about this trick yet, and that's why it's really just so effective. So I'm gonna show it again. And um, and then you one by one over here, like full speed. So basically, oh my god, I'm screwing up edits. Okay, so basically, you're gonna be inside your one by one. They're gonna be spraying out your walls, spraying out your walls. They're gonna make the edit. To go like this and then really nice and easily go up for high ground like that now normally what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be following your ramp probably one story above right maybe even two stories above they're never gonna expect this for you to jump out like this is completely unexpected and it really catches a lot of people off guard it's an absolutely amazing tip to do now the next thing to do is how to get into someone's one by one we're gonna tell you three ways really quickly so first one Someone's inside their one by one, right? They're sitting in there, sitting in there. So this is if you're on top of them, right? What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be keep you're gonna keep like breaking this stuff, right? They're gonna keep replacing it, nothing's gonna happen, right? What you wanna do this time is place two walls like this, go right into the corner. Now you're gonna be you're gonna break the pyramid, right? But basically when they place their pyramid, as you can see, it's glowing yellow. It means I'm phasing through it. 
So they're gonna keep holding the pyramid, keep holding the pyramid, right? And now I'm gonna break the floor, and boom, I'm into their one by one. And their pyramid looks like it's still there. So this has been caught on by some of the much better players. Some people know about this, but still, a lot of people really don't know about it. So I would say if you're trying to go for a high school game, you can't waste any time. Try to go for this. It does work pretty well. Just break. And then they're going to place their pyramid. You're phasing literally right through it. You're literally phasing right through your pyramid. All the way in the corner. You can go right through that. And now you're inside. Okay. Uh, so the second way to break, come into a one by one. I'm going to show you this right now. It's called. It's basically. This is a very. Plays my games with your opponent. Alright. So. I don't know if a lot of you guys are familiar with this tip. But. If you hit a wall, right? As, look, so let's say we're in a situation you're hitting the wall, right? Guys, sorry for the phone in the background. So you're hitting a wall, right? You're gonna keep breaking it. It's, they're gonna keep replacing it, right? Now, when I place this ramp, right? The guy inside, the one by one, the guy inside here, right? He's gonna expect for you to come to the for the top, right? That's exactly what he's gonna use. He expect for you. He's gonna hold out his pyramid and try to go get for the top, right? Now, what you're gonna want to do? Hit this once. Go like this, and now you can hit that blue circle through walls. So you're gonna go, you're just gonna hit it and replace it with your own. And now, as you guys can see, that's my wall. I own it. I mean, I own all these walls because I'm showing it to you guys, but I can replace it with my own wall. So I'm gonna show you that one more time. So you're gonna hit it, you're gonna place the ramp, and then you're gonna break right. Wow. Okay, you're gonna break right through like that. Now, the last step I'm gonna show you is basically using the same thing of hitting through walls, but it's just. It plays complete my games on your opponent. So, what you're gonna be doing for this one is you're gonna hit the wall once. Let's just see that this ramp's not here. You're gonna hit. So let's make this fully build. Oh shit! I'm just going inside. Okay. Wow, I'm getting wide legs. Okay. So you're gonna hit this wall once. Then you're gonna go and hit this wall, right? Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this blue circle through. Well, I have to do it kind of quickly. Uh, cause the blue circle is gonna fade away. So I have to actually use kind of quickly. So I'm gonna go, wow, hit this once, hit this once, hit that through, boom, and replace like that. Now basically what this does to other people is, so you hit this wall once right over here, right? They're like, okay, they're still replacing it. Now you go over here, you, and now they're holding down turbo for this wall. You hit it once, they're holding down turbo for this wall. The second you break this wall, they're gonna turn and rebuild this wall, right? Now as they're turning and rebuilding this wall, you're gonna break this wall and replace it with your own. Now, now these one, two, three walls in the row, this wall is not theirs. So you can just make an edit play and shoot, shoot them. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope you guys learned something useful in this video. If you guys want me to do more of these types of videos where it's basically just a live commentary, uh, let me know and I will be sure to do it because these videos are really not that hard for me to do. Alright, uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And